Hey guys, what's up? It's Katie and I'm back with another Marvel Contest of Champions video. And today I'm going to show you how you can easily beat the uncollected Dragon Man. So first things first, Let's take a look at his signature ability. So it's this tactical programming, and this kind of comes into play because you're you're gonna want to make sure who you're bringing and what and what his tactical abilities do when both what excuse me when buffs are triggered on the opponent. So if you have champs who don't get buffs, like Red Guardian, which makes him super beneficial here, or Clairvoyant, she's another really good one to bring it against him, which I'll show you here in a little bit. Um, he's going to have all of these different things. So he can reduce the regen, he can reduce opponent's um, power gain. He can gain armor rating based if they gain a fury. He gains attack if they have an armor up. And if they have precision or cruelty, he gains crit resistance and crit damage resistance. So what does this mean? So basically then he has these passive abilities. So you're not going to want to get backed into a corner with him because it's going to increase his um, physical damage and it's also going to have your defensive power rate decrease. Then he's got the power charge buff, which is the power gain that he gets. So basically he generates 12% of a bar of power every second and it's removed when he's stunned. So if you parry him, it's gonna remove it and you can also nullify it, which works out best because of the nodes that are um, on this champion. Now his passive. Oh boy, you do not want to bring in a champion who bleeds, poisons, or armor breaks him because if you do, he's going to degen you. And what do I mean when I say that? Well, this is what I mean. So I brought in Man-Thing just for the giggles because he poisons and he also armor breaks. So look at the degen that is happening right there. Now you can see what the <laughs> suicide damage is and what the degen damage is there. Okay, so then he's got this um, knockdown. So when he's knocked down, he goes unblockable. So let's take a look at, at this. So you can see here that he got unblockable when Claire was knocked down from that special one. So it lasts for three seconds. So even if you get knocked down after the heavy or part of the special, that unblockable is still going to be there. So you don't want to go just run full force into it. Um, or well, you could run full force, but you don't want to just hold block. Now let's talk about his special one, because this is honestly the easiest one to evade, um, but it does put a slow on you if you get hit, so you're not gonna be able to evade if you're bringing in someone like that or grant an unstoppable buff. Now it does also put in an aptitude buff, or debuff, excuse me, on you, reducing any uh, fury, armor up, precision, and cruelty buff by 75% for 30 seconds. So let's take a look at this uh, special one. So it's not too bad, it's five hits. So I'm gonna slow it down here for you in a minute, but it's the easiest one to evade. So here it is with the five hits. There's the first one with the tail, and then you got the leap in the air, the swing, the backhand, another swing, and finally another tail rotation for that special one. Now let's take a look at his special two because this one you do not want to <laughs> push him to. It's a little bit harder to dodge and it also deals a ton of incinerate damage and it consumes one power charge into a fury buff. So he's gonna hit harder after that. So let's take a look at the special two here. So we get the fire and then the cannon dive, I guess, cannonball dive. So let's slow it down here. Now the fire is actually three blasts. So you're gonna wanna dex back three times and then the cannonball dive is the um, final hit on it. So overall, Dragon Man, he's really not a bad champ to fight. Just kind of the nodes on there is what makes him a little bit difficult with that unstoppable that either he gets or you get, depending upon if you're far away from him or not. Now, you got, don't want to get knocked down by him because obviously he's going to go unblockable and you don't want to get trapped into the corner. Bait out those special ones and bringing in a mystic champ to nullify is the best bet. Claire is a really good champ for this um, because she can uh, kind of keep his power uh, charge under control with her nullify. Doom is another really good one. Red Hulk smashes it and so does Red Guardian because Red Guardian doesn't gain any buffs. So he, and he also has the slow, so he can stop that unstoppable. But overall, he's not bad. Just bait out those special ones. Bringing someone to nullify or stop the slow is your best bet. 
But anyways, guys, that's all that I got. Let me know in the comments below, who did you use for Dragon Man? Do you think he's difficult? Did you make a mistake and bring in an armor break champ against him and get that riggedy, riggedy, riggedy wrecked DJ and damage? Let me know in the comments below and let's discuss. As always, guys, thanks so much for watching. If you guys liked what you saw and you want to see more, please remember to like and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter and hit me up in the Discord chat. Thanks, guys. Bye.